Students are still attending classes online. That's a good thing as these numbers could bring a welcome change to the second nine weeks of school. NBC 15's Justin Moore joins us now with how the school system has avoided mass infection. Justin. Yeah, Kia, okay, Mobile County Schools says right now is not the time to reopen the schools after several employees tested positive for coronavirus. Who's ready to answer? Raise your hand, raise your hand, raise your hand. Come on, let me see. Mrs. Bowman is working hard to keep her first grade class at Lion Cough Elementary engaged virtually. She even has each of her students' pictures taped to a seat in class. I'm going to use my stick to call on Kevin. It's the new normal, at least for the first nine weeks, for students at Mobile County Public School System. Some parents think classes should be at school and not at home. Renee Phillips with MCPSS says the district is doing its part to keep corona numbers down. So we're monitoring the numbers and we will bring them back when it is safe for our students, our teachers, and our families. A science teacher posted this status on Facebook after she tested positive yesterday. She says, if I had been teaching face-to-face, -face, I would come in contact with approximately 158th grade students daily. Dr. Randy Murphy with Mobile County Health Department says schools are taking huge gambles reopening for face-to-face -face classes. Anytime we're in in close proximity of people who don't live in our household, we're putting ourselves at additional risk. That's a reminder of why we're doing this, is that we don't want that exposure, and we feel like we're doing our part to help the community. Today, the school district received more Chromebooks to pass out to students who need them to attend online classes. Although virtual learning has been a logistical challenge for Mobile County schools, leaders say it's all to keep students connected to educators like Mrs. Bowman. All right, thumbs up. Good job. Good job. Now, Mobile County Health Department hopes to have data ready for the public next week on how this pandemic is affecting our schools. Kim?